Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated for a moment of silence. Oh hey Bucks, today on Buck News we will be talking about a volcano and some fate. A volcano off the east coast of Spain on island La Palma erupted just a few days ago. Thousands were evacuated from the area of eruption. 400 tourists were evacuated to a nearby island. The volcano has a speculated one point of eruption close to a lightly populated area with a population of about 80,000. Also, Purdue scientists created the whitest paint on earth to date. In fact, the paint's so white that it could eventually reduce or even eliminate the need for air conditioning. The paint reflected a whopping 98.1% of solar radiation. This could be revolutionary for future homes and air conditioning. Bye Bucks, that's it for Buccaneer News. Now on to Q&A. Hey, it's Q&A and today we'll be asking people about their favorite jokes. Hello, my name is Caesar, and my favorite joke is, why did the chicken cross the road? Because he wanted to. Hi, my name is Rob, um, and uh, my joke is, uh, why couldn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he had no body to go with. Hi, my name is Davis. What did the shark say when he ate the clownfish? That tasted funny. Ha ha ha. Hi, my name is Lane, and I'm in sixth grade. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. Hey, my name is Aiden. What do you, and what do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. Hi, my name is Carter. My joke is, why didn't the skeleton go to the party? Because it was dead. Thanks, Bucks. Here's sports. Hey guys, for this week's sports, we'll be interviewing the players of the week. I'm Chloe. Um, I'm played the week for eighth grade volleyball, and it feels really um, appreciating and good. I'm Shadani. I'm an eighth grade off season, and I'm proud of the play of the week. My name's Athena Rodriguez, and I'm seventh grade cross country play of the week. The getting play of the week makes me feel like I've achieved my goals throughout the season. Hi, my name is Cade Mermud. I'm on the 8th grade uh, B team football and I was playing the game because uh, I got like 8 tackles that game. Carter Buck, 8th grade A team. I am very honored that I got player of the game and I hope I get it more. I'm Christian Warburg. I'm on the 8th grade A team and I'm happy to be player of the game but I don't think I could have done it without my team behind my back. Bye Bucks, thanks for watching. Next up is Top of the Tarts. Welcome back to Top of the Chart. This week we're going to be interviewing students on the iPhone 13 and what they think about it. My name is Luke, I'm in 8th grade. Hi, my name is Melly, I'm in 8th grade. Hi, I'm Alexa and I'm in 8th grade. And I think it's the same exact thing as the 12, the cameras are just diagonal. I think it looks like pretty much the same as the other one, it's just like they didn't, they like took a camera away from like the iPhone 12. And I don't really think much has changed for the iPhone 13, except for the camera position. No, because it's a waste of money. Um, I would not buy the iPhone 13 because I feel like it's just the same thing as the iPhone 11, but just better camera quality. So I don't think it's worth it. Uh, no, because first of all, why would I? I already have an iPhone. And second of all, probably gonna be too expensive for anyone, I, I think. Listen, you guys weren't even born when the first iPhone came out. Now you're asking me about iPhone 13? 
Let me tell you about a little thing called the iPhone 3G. You could get black or white. It was made out of plastic. They were small, they were ugly, but they were awesome. What were we talking about? Now for Blake's food review. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Blake. And together we're... Hey Buckadoos, this week we went to Bahama Bucks, located on 3944 Ranch Road, 620 in Bee Cave, Texas. Bahama Bucks provides many different flavors, ranging from sugar cookie all the way to warheads. Bahama Bucks is open from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, I got the blue raspberry with some gummy bears. It looks pretty good. I got the birthday cake. It has sprinkles on it, but I ate most of it, so now it's gone, but it had sprinkles. Has crew. Hello, Bozo. My spoon's gone. <laughs> Cold. Ten out of ten, though. We'll see you back at school, Bucket Dudes. <laughs> but where is Blake? What? Woo! Hey! <laughs> Toodaloo, Bucket Dudes. Hey Bucks, today we visited Urban Air on 3944 Ranch Road 620. Urban Air is an adventure trampoline park with so many different attractions such as dodgeball, indoor skydiving, warrior course, ball pit, and even more. This indoor trampoline park is rated 4.4 stars and everywhere you look is new and improved. They are located in many places including West Austin, Barton Creek, Cedar Valley, Lakeway, and Bee Cave. There are many passes to Urban Air that include the Basic Pass, Deluxe Pass, Ultimate Pass, and the Platinum Pass. The prices range from $19.99 to $44.99. Our favorite was the Defy Gravity Trampolines. We really liked jumping around and doing tricks. We also loved the Apex Trampolines. This part of the park has many trampolines in rows, and so you can basically jump everywhere. Overall, we really enjoyed the Urban Air Trampoline Park. We definitely recommend it. Bye Bucks, thanks for watching this week's broadcast. Have an amazing weekend.